everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ and today we are reviewing Bundaberg Lemon, Lime and Bitters and this is of course another flavour of the Bundabergs. The Bundabergs, the Bundaberg family, they're very popular in the area around Australia and New Zealand. That area, they are popular. We in the UK, we don't have a huge amount of flavours. I got this flavour from Selfridges, a premium retailer. Uh, I got it from the London branch, but I think there's one in Birmingham as well. Maybe Manchester as well. And may maybe one more. Uh, it's got a, like a weird ring pull th system on the bottle. Uh, so I want to be careful with it. And also, you know, I'm a bit scared of danger, frankly. Oh, this is good. Pull out, then up. Pull out then up. Oh, I'm really scared of this, guys. There's no need to make something this dangerous. I'm going to cut myself, seriously. Has it, let me know in the comments if you've ever cut yourself on these. I, look, this is very much telling of my personality now. I'm very scared of everything. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm basically very danger aware, which make, mean, it basically means I'm a bit of a pussy. Um, I not, has it not even worked? Brilliant. It has worked. It, it has worked. But I think that is unnecessarily complicated. If this bit's sharp, I'm going to be angry because I could have hurt myself. It's, it's not too bad. It's reasonably sharp. It's sharp enough to cause concern. Mm, not sure about that. Anyway, here's a quick image of... I think this is from their Twitter page. That's kind of an example of all the different flavours that they do. So it is a shame that really we, we haven't got many in the UK that are readily widely available. In stores such as Tesco, they sell the ginger beer and the root beer, but this is, uh, in fact, this, I've only seen two other flavours, this, which actually I think I saw uh, much closer to home, I saw it in a garden centre in Aylesbury, or just outside Aylesbury, Wendover, and they also had the peach flavour there, which we've actually reviewed on the channel, but even so, that's only four flavours out of a larger range, uh, a larger range which actually included some um, really interesting ones, and we've also had the pink grapefruit on the channel as well, actually, so this is our, what, our third one, I don't know when they got the, um, Got the pink grapefruit one from. Okay, first of all, first smell really good. That is actually very promising. That doesn't smell like any lemon soda I've ever had. Lemon, lime and bitters. Yeah, fair play, that's really interesting. I'm going to pour some out because I know you guys like seeing the colour, so let's pour it out into there. So you see that guys, it's like a nice clear, nice clear colour. Ah, joking, you obviously can't see the colour. Uh, let's pour it from a little bit higher. Brilliant, that's fucking, that'll serve me right. That'll serve me right slash teach me, won't it? But with three and a half minutes in, I haven't even tried it yet. There you go. That's what the colour is. Okay. Funnily enough, I'm drinking it out of the bottle though, because I prefer, I prefer drinking out of bottle. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer drinking out of a bottle. Right, let's go for it, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm irritating. Mm. Wow, Bundaberg absolutely smash, absolutely smash it. It's a fucking wonder that this company are not more popular. These sodas, I've not ever had a bad one and they're all really good. This is really, really different. Never had anything like that. This says craft brewed over seven days. God, that is delicious. That's really good, really, really different. I've never had anything like that. I should say as well, I don't think I've ever tried like bitters, certainly not like on their own. I know you probably wouldn't do that because it, it's a bit like cordial as far as I'm aware. You usually just put a few, you usually just put a few drips uh, in a cocktail. But they have this really strong, powerful, uh, like intense citrus tang and flavour. Really, really nice. And if this, the carbonation on this is great as well. It froths up very much in your mouth. Very foamy. Fuck me, that is bloody great. Wow. That is right up there with the best lemon sodas I've, I've ever had. I, I, again, I actually really like the packaging on that. The logo, I think, is superb. And I've said this before, I love it when brands have uh, a unity about them, but different colours per flavour. Now, that is not an uncommon thing, but... I, I really like it when like the whole packaging, so the bottle of this is green, and the label is green, and the banner is green. I, I love that. That is delicious. Uh, the lemon and lime, surprisingly, aren't crazy strong, but it does have a nice tangy, sherbet-y, citrus thing going on. And then you, you can taste the bitters coming through. I assume that is the taste of the bitters. That's kind of 
It's kind of vaguely how I've always thought of them. This is a very strong flavoured drink though. Tastes really high quality. It's got a great texture in the mouth. Yeah, that is very, very high quality. I'm actually going to give that a low five stars. I'm really surprised by that, even though we have had several on the channel before and they're all really good. Um, it's kind of just blowing me away a bit with, with just keeping up. What, this sounds like a bit of a boring flavour, uh, and it's not. It's really good, so thanks for watching. This has been one of the longest uh, solo reviews I've filmed in a while, so that's, that's good. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, but not before you subscribe to Michael Jameson Comedy. My comedy channel is hilarious, it's amazing. Head over there, guy, bye, guy, bye. Welcome to England, the one thing UKIP doesn't say. <laughs>